All right, so things have been pretty hectic since a few days, week, whatever. I thought I could do a quick, like, sum up of everything what happened. I took my car from my parents' place after my season in the Mediterranean in Greece. I went to Cannes first. I did the uh, Regate Royale de Cannes on f uh, France. France huh? It's a 12 meter J classic boat. Really, really cool. And after this, my goal was to do uh, the Middle Sea Race. The Middle Sea Race is in Malta. It's an offshore racing and it's what I really want to get into. And I had found Right after the Voile de Saint-Tropez, I found a delivery from Saint-Tropez to Palma in the Baleares. I did this delivery, it was, you know, a job for money on a really nice boat with a friend of mine. Anyway, I arrived in Palma, so I flew into Pisa, Italy, to join the crew of the Trimaran. And from Pisa, we went, we were supposed to deliver the boat to Malta and start the Middle Sea Race. We only made it to uh, Sicily and had to stop for a technical check. And we missed the middle sea race, so I'm disappointed, but that's it. I uh, just switch into another plan. I'm going next week to England to do my cruising instructor, to be able to teach sailing. And this means that I have to fly to England, but also my training is finishing on the 4th of November. And on the 7th of November, I have a plane in Paris to go to Martinique to take my boat back. But also the thing is that I'm waiting for a few answers from some boats, some racing boats, really nice boats like uh, 470, big massive boat racing. I would love to have an experience on this kind of boat. But, you know, sailing, things are never sure, boats keep breaking, so sometimes it's a yes, sometimes it's a no. I'm still waiting for an answer. And I'm here in south of France with all my luggage to go back to my boat. And at the same time, I have to kind of figure out and plan... Um, my logistics around this so i have to leave south of france to go maybe to paris catch a plane to england do my training go back catch another plane to martinique or maybe i go to paris with all my luggage and suddenly um the boat i'm supposed to race on says like oh yeah i mean uh, sicily or i mean malta you need to fly here to start with us so it's always kind of these logistics it looks when maybe on video or uh, you know that Life is super easy and I just, you know, happen to be at the right place at the right time, but no. I, it's always lots of logistics, catching flights, changing, taking bus, finding the cheapest option always. Because when I'm doing some work as a skipper or on deliveries, I'm paid. But because I'm trying to uh, get experience into uh, offshore racing, the gigs I'm doing are not paid. In the best case scenario, they pay for my tickets, but never for me to be on the boat uh, as, a, as a normal crew. So yeah, trying to figure this out at the moment, trying to pack my stuff, editing, I'm trying to upgrade my game there a little bit. So yeah, lots of things going on. Okay, so the season in Europe is over. I just came to visit family and friends and go back to the Caribbean. Gonna be a long journey, passing through England, getting my Yacht Master cruising instructor done. That's it. All my life there. Yesterday I did from the Pyrenees to Paris, spent the night here, nice sunset, and now bus to London and then another bus overnight to Falmouth, so yeah, long way. Okay, England, I'm not sure Brexit was such a good idea, I just spent 45 minutes waiting in line over there. The customs 
you imagine how easy it was before with EU just like cross the border and you went out of it? Seriously. some editing, sent a few emails and we're there. I spent a good part of the day in a pub editing and looking a bit at my books to not arrive at the training completely useless and uh, now I'm walking towards the sea school because I was uh, in the harbor but at the other end so now going to, to the sea school and we're supposed to board the boat tonight and start and all here is pretty cool it's kind of really typical England I had never been in this part of, of England before but it's, uh, it's quite how you imagine England in the south, you know, Cornwall. You have this, I don't know, this light and this mood. I'm not good enough at photography to be able to capture, capture this properly. great day I'm trying not to film too much because I'm still in training and trying not to bob around too much with the camera but we reached a really nice anchorage here in can't remember the name and tomorrow I'll take the drone up tomorrow morning in the uh, early it's really really sunny here I'll come back here in the summer when it's less cold And after one week of examination, I was walking away from Falmos with my AYA cruising instructor validated. This means that I could teach sailing for work, which had one option for me to make money as I keep sailing around. So I'm here in Paris at Roman's place. Remember Roman from the first episode sailing? Well, I'm at crashing at this place before taking my flight and doing some computer stuff and this is me trying to 
do a backup of all my videos this is 1.5 terabytes of videos one year and a half of sailing and traveling uh, backupping takes forever and I still need to wrap up this kind of new movie I'm trying to do so really not easy remember these images were taken in October 2018 which is when I posted episode 31 and Notre Dame was still intact in Paris stay posted as I return to my boat in the Caribbean for another season of sailing and adventure on my small boat.